So this is my first philanthropy video. Today I'm going to be talking about two nonprofit organizations. One, my nonprofit publishing press, AJR Publications, and the imprints under it, which is at potholepress.com. And I will also be talking about Little Free Library, which is a 501c3 nonprofit organization in the U.S., but provides resources across the world. They have more than 60,000 public bookcases. They probably exchange about millions of books every year. You can find out more about Little Free Library and its nonprofit services at littlefreelibrary.org. I'll be providing the links to the various things I talk about below. I encourage you to please access those links and those resources and build Little Free Library structures around your town if you don't already have them. They do have a world map on their website that you can go to and see if your town or city or community has structures already in there. If not, you can buy a charter, you can buy the materials from the website, you can also write grants, work with your public library to get those grants and build them yourself. Last year in April, I created a nonprofit publishing imprint, a part of my brand called AJR Publications. I just made one book and it was sort of a joke at first. I just wanted to make a book with a friend and it went from there. I started getting people from all around the US asking me if they could help bring their you know, manuscripts and make physical copies. And because I had all the knowledge to do that because of this little joke I did in April of 2017, I decided to start helping people out and doing it for free. So I would edit their book, format it to be published, and then ultimately publish their book. I've done six books now. I've helped this 82-year-old woman in rural Texas bring her first book to fruition. I helped a guy out in rural Maine bring his first book to a physical copy. They're all selling on Amazon now, and I will go through the books later on. But now I've sort of changed up a lot of stuff because I'm more serious about this nonprofit publishing. Although my major publishing press is still called AJR Publications, I now have an imprint, a couple imprints under them. The major one being Pothole Press, which is a website that you can go to and you can read all of the books that I published there for free. Aside from one of them, you can only read an, ex an excerpt from that and then go on to buy it. So I was, you know, sort of trying to find other nonprofits and other things within you know, my community and within my nation and the world that had literature for free. What free little libraries are, there are these small structures that hold maybe around like 30 books or so and they are placed throughout the town. For example, my hometown has 12 of them. So we have a public library, but then we also have these 12 structures. One's placed in the park, one's placed by the Family Services Center, one's placed by the other park. And they're mainly placed around places where there are children or also people who are maybe a little far away from the public library. I know for a fact my town doesn't have public transportation, so if you don't have a car or a way to get to the public library in the center of town, it's really nice to have this structure around you that has a bunch of books in it. So to give a little more about Free Little Library, it's sort of a take one, give one situation. That's not like a hard set rule. Of course, you can take a book if you don't have a book. It would be really nice if you would then return that book <laughs> after you're done reading it so other people can read it as well. But people are constantly donating books to these locations, so sometimes they fill up. I always see mine constantly you know, rotating and sometimes they'll be empty, but then sometimes they'll be full. It's just a great, way to get people reading, to be providing literature resources to people who may not have the means to either get to the library, may not have a library, or just aren't able to find books. And I know with the internet nowadays, it's really easy to go out there and get books, but some people don't have access to that either. So it is really amazing to have something like Free Little Library in this world that does want people to read free books and it has this cycle of giving and taking books and just donating and improving literacy in the, in the world. So today what I will be doing is going to the structures in my hometown of Brownwood, Texas and donating my published books from my nonprofit. I will be presenting the four books that I'm going to be putting in the free little libraries as I go along. All right, I'm arriving at the first little free library that will be featuring in this video. 
It is located at the Pat Kersey Park in downtown Brownwood, Texas. This is what the structure looks like. You can see it's a little small, but it's very beautiful. It's painted. It is chartered by the Brownwood Public Library right there. Charter number 65183. You can open it easily, and there are already several books in there. So, to add to this, I will be putting four of the books that I am going to mention, or have already mentioned, into there. I'm gonna put them upright. And with these books, I'm also including a bookmark that I got made for my nonprofit publishing press, AJR Publications. That's what the logo looks like. That's the old website. So I'm gonna be putting that in there so someone can have a bookmark. The first book we have is the book I mentioned earlier. The book that jokingly made me create a publishing press, which I didn't realize would turn into me providing editing, formatting, and ultimately publishing services for free to people who may not have the connections or the means of publishing their own books. It is called The Ghostwriter's Ghostwriter, How I Became a Ghostwriter's Ghostwriter by Connor M. Gleam. And actually I ghost wrote this book, so it's really written by me. <laughs> As you can tell, this is such a comedy book. This is obviously a joke, and that's why I made the press, because I wanted to publish it myself. But it is age appropriate. It's very funny in the execution. It's ridiculous in the content. It's a fake autobiography about a guy, a 39-year-old man living in Austin, Texas, who becomes the world's greatest ghostwriter. So it's sort of a triumphant story. It's not too long, and the words are actually pretty big. So, good book. You can buy it online. Or you can read it for free. Like I said, www.potholepress.com where you could read any of these books for free. Here we are at the second little free library location. It is at the Family Service Center. This is where pamphlets are held to talk about the services, but they're not there right now. This one's easy to open as well. It's a little, little, I think a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna put these books in there. Whoops. With my bookmark. And there we go, more books for the Little Free Library and for the community of Brownwood, Texas. The second book that I published is a book called Project Letters, a collection of 215 letters to people I may or may not know. I published this book after I had posted a TBH status on Facebook. A TBH means to be honest. When someone likes that status, you go onto their Facebook wall and you write a little blurb about what you like about them. So I wanted to one-up that and sort of write a full page long letter to each person who liked it. And I had got about 250 likes. It took me two and a half months, but I ended up making a letter for each person. Only 215 were included in here because I did get permission from the person. So it is a pretty thick book, about 240 pages. All it is is letters to people in my life and my friends some people that I don't know. So it might be boring to a person who doesn't know me or my friends, but I'm gonna be providing that. I think it's a good resource for people to uh, go on and appreciate their friendships. Here's the third location of Brownwood's Little Free Library structures. This one is sponsored by the Pecan Valley Kiwanis Club, located at Coggin Park. Again, you just open it and there are a lot of books. So you just put those books inside. The third book I will be providing is the third book I published, a book that I did not write and for a person who contacted me, the one from rural Texas. The book is called The Tale of Toby Singletree by B. Freeman Gill. One of her granddaughters painted this cover. Another granddaughter painted the back cover. It is a very beautiful book. It is also about 240 pages or so. It's about a little kid who is Native American, but he is growing up in a very American society. He has to live and choose which side of his life he wants. One of his parents' side, which is very Native American, and the other parent who is very US. It's a coming of age novel about this kid going through his life. Here's the fourth Little Free Library, again, sponsored by the Pecan Valley Kiwanis Club. I was actually a part of that club for a year. It looks pretty similar to the Coggin Park one. This is Riverside Park location. You can tell there's not many books in this one. A lot of people visit this park, and they love reading. So I'm gonna put some of my books in there. And hopefully people will read those. The sixth book I published, but the fourth book I'll be presenting is a book called Top County K-12. 
case closed. This is by KN. It is on Amazon as well, as are all of them. This is the one that only has an excerpt available on potholepress.com. And it is a book by the guy who lives in rural Maine. It is his first book and it is very awesome. This is the first book I published under Pothole Press. It is more of a suspense thriller. It's a book about a sheriff who comes to be the sheriff of his hometown and just all of the corruption within that town. And it goes from there. I'm not going to give too much away, but it is a very awesome book, very suspenseful. Here is the fifth Little Free Library structure in Brownwood, Texas that I will be showing today. As you can tell, this one is similar to the first one, a little bit smaller than the last two. This Little Free Library is located at Alcorn Park. Here we go. Four of the five that I've showed today were at parks around town. That is where Little Free Libraries thrive. That is where the community comes together. That's where kids come. That's where everyone comes. It makes sense to put them in the places around town people congregate at. Now that I'm done providing my books to the Little Free Library structures, I want to give a huge thanks to the Brownwood Public Library for working with and getting a grant from littlefreelibrary.org. Also, I want to thank Little Free Library for providing those grants and books to over 60,000 Little Free Library locations around the world. I think this is very important and it's part of the reason why I continue to do nonprofit publishing work. I just want to take these last moments to remind people to go to littlefreelibrary.org and get those grants and make sure that we have more Little Free Library structures. Cause I got some questions that you got the answer to.